Hello YouTube, Asuma here with a showcase on a new mob spawner design. This is the Magnet Mob Spawner and it's based on a bug shared with me by my friend H of H2211Games. H showed me how he used a bug to instantly push mobs off of a spawning platform. By putting a lot of minecarts on a circular 2x2 minecart track, this creates what are called ghost carts which are similar to the way mobs can push you around when in a mob trap on a server. We designed this mob spawner together back in 1.1 and dismissed the overall idea because of the amount of iron used would make it expensive in survival mode. But now in 1.2 with iron golems and iron farms this has become more practical again. So we passed the idea on to the Minecraft community to see what we can come up with together. In a nutshell this has a big pro and a big con. The pro being that the instant capturing of mobs by using the magnet spawner and the con being that they contribute to the entity count which can cause lag. Now I'm going to show you how to build the basic magnet. So we have a spawning pad here and in the centre of it we're going to put down a 4x4 four four grid of blocks like this. I'm going to make that too high. And then in the centre we're going to place down four minecart tracks so that they make a circle. Then on one of the sides we're going to place blocks like this and power it using a redstone torch and put down some powered rails. And now we can put our minecarts in, but the only minecarts that we can use are the chest and furnace types. And the reason for this is because if we were to use a normal one it would pick up the mobs on the spawning platform. So you have to put quite a few of these in and then after a while they'll stop looking like this and they'll group up into a little group. And when they've done that they'll probably be ready to be used. The minecarts have now formed this fast moving group and now we can place down some mobs. So I'm going to switch to normal and place down some creepers and they should get pushed off of the platform. And there you go. And the more minecarts that you add the more strength that it will have and it will be able to push them further and also quicker. If you're interested in designing and building your own magnet mob spawner then there's something very important to consider which is that there's a balancing act that goes on when building this and that's to do with this bit here the magnet and the spawnable area so the more spawnable area that you have the more mobs that can spawn and the better the mob farm is but in order to have a bigger uh, spawnable area you need a stronger magnet and the stronger the magnet the more it contributes to the to the lag of the game because each minecart is an entity so in each of my magnets I have 26 minecarts and then the spawnable area I have around it is 3 blocks out. So if I were to make the magnet weaker then I would make the spawnable area smaller and I could have more magnets in total. Um, but the main thing to think about is that you want to push the mobs off as quick as you can. So having a large spawnable area around a weaker magnet might not be as effective because the main strength of this farm is that it pushes the mobs off instantly and then they can fall down and be instantly harvested. Once I had designed my spawn pad and my magnet I decided to stack it eight times in a tower and create a trap at the bottom. And I was happy with how that performed so I made two towers and that worked really well as well and then when I introduced the third tower the game started to lag a little so at that point I decided to stop and because I have a powerful computer some people may experience a lot more lag with three towers so in the description box of this video there's a link to download the map uh, but it'll include three maps there'll be one with three towers one with two and one with one so thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time